Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Remembering the Past and Moving Forward. Today, we have a, our guest with us. His name is E. McLeod Baines, EMAC uh, for short, or as he's known to with uh, known as with his friends. Um, EMAC is a seasoned artist who has performed for numerous audiences throughout the United States the second in his family to graduate college, earning a BA with a double major in business administration and Spanish. While working full-time and simultaneously touring the country with the famed Thompson Community Singers, a gospel recording choir, and the Joseph Holmes Dance Theater, he refused to allow naysayers to restrain his numerous aspirations. He worked his way up the corporate ladder and ultimately became an award-winning, respected, banking officer. He continued to develop his many passions for American sign language, acting, playwright, and piano skills. Among numerous awards, he is the recipient of the prestigious Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Service Award for his contribution to drama slash theater for the development of programs <clears throat> and um, projects which demonstrated concern for social issues. <laughs> so welcome. I'd like to start out with uh, telling our audience how we met um, and, and how I had to, how I had you to come and be on the show and uh, how long we've been kind of knowing each other with our, this, in this creative capacity. I, I'd, I'd just go to kind of venture that uh, we go way back. <laughs> We go, we go way back, everybody, way back. <laughs> but oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. And I know we met at the uh, at church, I believe. That's it was at church, mm -hmm. and uh, it started a uh, performing. I had been on several stages in the past, and I said I, I thought I would take my skills to the church. Awesome. And awesome. Uh, that's where we met, and where I uh, wrote several plays, performed several plays with the group, and I think you were part of the group I, at I one was. time. So. Um, while we were going strong <laughs> and um, yeah, we were going very strong for numerous years. And I thank you for joining me. We had, I mean, like I said, we had a good time. And it, it your was... audience, you know, I'm going to put it out there, but you're a singer, you're an actor. And I remember the role that you played. I, I, I'm not going to mention the the role, but, uh, <laughs> oh but it gosh. was, uh, it but... was great. But before all of that, I think I had heard a little birdie told me that you had appearances like on Apollo and at Madison Square Garden and things like that and that caliber. Right. Exactly. And it was it was uh, my first experience in such a large, well-known uh, venue or venues, shall we say. And I enjoyed it. It, it was fun. I mean, just going backstage. Um, uh, meeting the different artists there, but uh, singing, performing there, and then Madison Square Garden, um, Chicago's uh, Auditorium Theater. I mean, we performed all over. And it was at the Chicago's Auditorium Theater where Reverend Brunson of the Thompson Community Singers gave me the award. As the, uh, as far as I know, it was, it was the first award ever presented. Awesome, awesome. And uh, I'm not bragging, but you know, <laughs> sometimes you got to toot your horn. I enjoyed it. And I totally expected because I was talking at the time to somebody else, you know, whatever, didn't realize he had called my name. I'm like, what did he say? They said, he called your name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow. Because he called me walkie talkie. Because <laughs> okay. always talking. All right. So go ahead. Well, um, with, with that, um, Looking back, um, let's talk about the show that you were on in this line. Because one of the things that we're doing with this um, podcast is that we're talking about the past and and the sh the people who were mm -hmm. on the shows and um, where we are, where we were then, where we are uh, now, and where we're going. So I believe your show was called Kaleidoscope. Um, what were you trying to oh, do with the show back yeah. then, and what was it about? What what were you what were you what were you doing? Well, actually, I called it kaleidoscope because we covered many subjects from A to Z, and that's what I, that was my point in it uh, to just to talk about whatever. I mean, you watch people watching everything, so that was my point. And actually, uh, I got the idea from another performer. He's a very famous guy, Harry Connick, Harry Connick Jr. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen him on TV. I'm like, mm -hmm. he talked about everything and he was multi-talented. I'm like, I like this guy. And I kind of, I will not say copied after him or mimicked him, but it gave, it gave me the idea to, to 
experience another side of myself and to share it with the audience. Okay. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And would, would you, would you ever think of getting some, uh, that show or something else like that uh, going again? As far as shows you know, are concerned? I would love it. I would, I would love it. I mean, I would love it. I mean, it was, yeah, I was, it was the beginning of my television career, shall we say. <laughs> Um, and it was presented by with a company that that was, and I don't want to mention the name of the company, but uh, they were ahead of their time, definitely ahead of the time, you know, as far as video and keeping records. It did the company did everything, so it, it was wonderful. It was a wonderful experience. Yes, I would consider doing it again. I'm come on, whoever out there, if you got it, if you got the opening, <laughs> let me know. I'm wow. ready. <laughs> were Were there any guests that stood out in your mind? There were several. I had. Um, well, Several uh let me tell you. Legrand, and she, go ahead. And I had other again, and I gotta tell you, and I had another one. This guy came at the last minute. He filled in for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Audrey Legrand is known as the jail job lady, job jail lady. I think something like that. She's known as that. But then this guy, somebody else didn't show up for the show. And um, and I I don't know if you remember that. I, I um, think I did. Was his name Dillard or something? And his name was Eric Dillard. Eric Dillard. Eric yeah, Dillard. Exactly. And he's now in New York performing and whatever he he does performances all over. So he was a uh, he was a great guest. Okay, and well, we're going back, but the truth is, as you kind of snuck in there, we uh, went back a little further than the shows in the performing arts group days. You had written a a, a play, and we had done several plays, but there was one in particular that you did. I think it was called "All My Children Armed and Extremely Dangerous." Can can you you remember that? I remember that. Whoa, yeah. Oh, right. We did so many plays. This was a play about people on drugs. We called it, I'll use it called the drug play. And, and <laughs> of course the people, my cast members, we were not on drugs and everything. We 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 got the experience of I said we got the line from our experiences. I've never been on drugs and people I deal with are not on drugs as far as I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we uh, I wrote the play uh and uh and it was it was wonderful. I gotta say Karen I can make call you Karen since we've been knowing each other since way back when. Of course. <laughs> you did an excellent job. Oh, now, I, won't, I won't say the role you play. I'll let you put it out there if you want to. <laughs> well, we're gonna we're but gonna show a clip. We, we got a clip of this, this also because there were like three scenes that were like kind of okay. kind of my favorite. Um, I don't okay. remember the names of the scenes. Um, we had several people in the cast. Um, um, but we have these little snippets, so we'll take a moment and take a look at these snippets. Hold on. just something else <laughs> uh, just even you seeing took me back with that <laughs> how, how yeah, exactly uh exactly uh just thinking about those days it was awesome and a lot of fun uh all of that was done at at at, at, at the church in the church and and we never even thought about some of the things that we could do we just kept doing it that way um 
and, and putting it out there for the, the congregation to see. And they came, they came to see these plays that were separate from the church service, you know, because we we were mm -hmm. delivering a message, you know, don't do drugs. It, it, exactly. I mean, we had people from marijuana, Miss Marijuana, Miss uh, uh, we had Mother Drug. I want to give her name, but she's in government. <laughs> oh, I don't think she uh, mind if we uh, called her name. I'm going to call her name because I, I I will be reaching out to her. It, uh, uh, Don Donzella Donzella James. She was with us in our performing arts group. That's how I got to meet her, yeah. which was kind of cool. <laughs> yes, so yes, uh, so. Where, where are you with things now that we are speaking of, you know, the future, um, now that we're kind of mm -hmm. sort of post-pandemic and working on your dreams and endeavors? First of all, I want to say we took that play, um, Arms and Extremely Dangerous, mm -hmm. all that. We took it to it. We took it outside of the church as well. But um, I forgot I that. We did perform. On, yeah, we did take it. We did take it outside of that family, the church family, because people in the street needed to know about drugs and what the harm that, that various drugs, crack, all this stuff can do. Now it's fentanyl. It, what, the, what it can do to me, the play is still very much alive. So uh, that's it. Now, yes, but what am I doing now? Yes. Was that your question? Yeah. And thank you for reminding me about that with the play, because I truly had forgotten. That's why it's good to look at the past and stuff and, and, and right. kind of... Um, <laughs> remember um but yes where are you with things now okay as far as plays are concerned i have written some other plays which one of the plays is called um um i just had a brain snafu <laughs> <laughs> that's all right <laughs> but it's but it's, it's uh I've, I've renamed it pink slip it's it's called uh wrongful termination and that's right uh-huh we're wrong for termination but i've renamed it pink slip and uh, uh, so that's in the, in the works right now. Mm -hmm. I've written three books of which two I'm uh, promoting because the first one is, it has been, uh, it's called Cookie Power. And it talks about the demographic changes in the workplace and its adverse effect on men, particularly men of color. Mm -hmm. The second book I wrote and released them at the same time. How I did that was like, and I started writing one book, which was, uh, then I write another book. Um, but the first uh, one of the books, it's a memoir, actually. And um, it's a memoir because people don't know what's, it, uh, you'd be surprised what goes on it behind closed doors. It's called Secret Doors, mm -hmm. Hidden Tales. Secret Doors, Hidden Tales. And it's again, it's a memoir of me growing up, what I went through, being abused, phys physically abused, uh, uh, talk, uh, being disenfranchised, marginalized mm -hmm. by the system and i'm like okay and how to overcome that has been the number one bestseller um there that book i've been told it needs to be a movie uh i've asked wow i've, I've been asked if they if uh if, if they would you know uh, if they would take it in a movie so i'm you know I, i'm ready for whoever wants to take it to a movie to the movie level i'm ready <laughs> and the second book um or oh, the third book um, Oh, the third book. I'm sorry, third book. Do you remember what, what that was? Uh, is it Dancing on Hot Sand? There you go. Uh, Dancing on Hot Sand. Uh -huh. I thought I'd catch you in here. This <laughs> <laughs> Dancing on Hot Sand. And it's, I would say it's R-rated, not for children. But um, I, I was asked by somebody who has been, and I won't give the name, but somebody who's been on the Oprah show to write that book. They inspired me to write that book, Dancing on Hot Sand. Uh, uh, it's that's all I can say about that one because I don't want to give it away. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But I would, but I would say between that book and the Secret Door of Hidden Tales, excellent uh, mm -hmm. reading, e excellent reads for everyone, even mm -hmm. children. Okay, and then um, we got a, a. I think you, we have an actor credit here. I think I heard uh -oh. that you were you were recently in a movie. Oh, um, oh my God! Yes, you want to tell us a little bit about that? Mm -hmm. The name of the movie. Uh, the name of the movie. Uh, yes, yeah, sure. Uh, it's called "Don't Blow My High." Now, this is a role. I don't want to tell too much about it, but it's a role I'm not used to playing. I'm used to playing serious roles. It's a comedy. Uh, it's R-rated, <laughs> but it is a comedy. 
and I, I play the part of a, um, uh, I would say a police officer, bounty hunter, bounty hunter, mm -hmm. and as I'm chasing some some weed dealers. Wow. <laughs> we do, and, we, and, that, and that's what it's about. I'm like, okay, and I'm after them. So if you want to say, I'm kind of like the goofy bounty hunter. I'm like the Steve Urkel of bounty hunters. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and it's on, and it's, and it's on Tubi, by the way. It is on Tubi, and okay. I get got to give credit to the producer and writer of the show uh, of the show, Mike Giles. Uh, he was the one to ask me. He figured uh, I would. Uh, I guess he thought I could play a, a, a goofy role. So I'm like, okay. And I loved it. It was so much fun. Again, it's on Tubi. Awesome. And going back to the books, mm -hmm. I've written uh, Secret Doors, Hidden Tales, and Dance on the Hot Sand. They're on Amazon, by the way. Okay, awesome. They're on Amazon, both of them. Okay. So um, how can people contact you? Can you? Do you have a website? It's ebanesproductions.com. Okay. Productions, that's with an S. Okay. ebanksproductions.com, or you can contact me on Facebook, E. McLeod, that's M C L E O D, Paynes. You go directly to Facebook there, and it's like McLeod. You said, people, some people say McLeod. No, it's McLeod, like Mary McLeod Bethune. She spells it the same way. So that's the M C L E O D. Awesome. Exactly. Just like Mary McLeod Bethune. Exactly. Okay, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Emac. Uh, he he doesn't like me to say Mr., but hey. that's, that's part of my Jamaican thing there. So, <laughs> but uh, Emac, <laughs> and um, we thank you for being on the show today, and um, for sharing in this experience of looking back, remembering the past, seeing where we are in the present, and looking forward to the moving forward to the future. Um, stay tuned. There will be other episodes coming up. And um, thank you for joining us today for this podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, make it a great day. Mm -hmm.